Once again, women see, never cease to amaze me. This individual talks about uh, somebody being a cock-a-doodle-doo block. Let's get into it. See, it would sound so much better if there were sound. Uh, DJ, can you put sound on there? Like, what do I pay you to do? Let's get it. And the sound just keeps going off. Just downright motherfuckers today. I had to come up here. I had to come up here at fucking 11 o'clock in the afternoon. That's prime time. Wi- That's prime time. She had to come somewhere at 11 in the afternoon. She's already upset that she had to go somewhere at 11 in the afternoon. Okay? Because that's prime time butt cheek slapping clapping time, okay? Well, (laughs) I bet you're wondering to yourself, where would this individual have to be at 11? So much so that made her so irritated that she felt like she had to make a video telling everybody that 11 a.m. is her uh, cheek clapping time and that she's frustrated she had to even do this. I was wondering the same thing, and I was wondering why so many people cared about this individual. Well, let's continue. You know what drives me so crazy before we continue? That's how she sees uh, intimacy with somebody, is. Oh. Oh, so you're crazy. See, does that sound... That's feel like a mature rumor to you guys. The way that they explain um, intimacy is this. If you know what I mean. But listen. So that's partly why I'm cranky. But I'm cranky because my child... My child is 10. I had to come up to the school and I had to pick him up. Why? Why did I have to fucking pick this... Oh, so you're crazy. This, this woman is complaining that she had to come pick up her 10-year-old child. And this 10-year-old child became a cock a doodle do block. Society is going well. As you can see, we have moved up into, I mean, just astronomical intelligence. I, I, I don't even know what else to say. This is exactly what <laughs> we need in this life. Get up. I had to pick this kid up because he's a man. Okay, he's a little man. And he's got a weak ass... Now the- One thing I always hate hearing is when children get told that they're many adults. Okay? I know what she means. I know she's saying he's a little man. He's complicated. But aren't you about to go uh, do your little cock-a-doodle-doo? You, right? He said, he said he's a cock-a-doodle-doo for you to go sleep with the who? You're sleeping with men. Funny how that works. Funny how that works. But you guys have already guessed that this woman is probably one of those. I just made six figures on my OnlyFans. She may be one of those. But she calls him a little man as if it's a bad thing, but yet you're sleeping with men. (laughs) At 11 in the afternoon, getting your clown, clownish behavior. Stomach like fucking most men do. So somebody busted ass in the library. He threw up not one time, not two times, but three times in the library. Fucking the, literally the nurse calls and she's like, you're going to have to come pick up your son because he just vomited three times in the library, like exorcist style all over the place. You know, that's pretty normal. You know, even we, you know, you may not know this man, but let me go ahead and uh, um, educate you if I may. Even in regular everyday life as adults did you know that if you throw up at work they normally send you home it's normally in the policy i threw up at work and they would not let me stay because it comes with a virus and they know that if people are puking all over the place you may give a virus and give it to somebody else and then you have problems so they tend to send kids home and you know what i work with kids for 20 years, and I can tell you this, when a kid throws up, they can't even come back the next day. I don't know how it works in every school system, but every school I've worked in, if a kid throws up, he can't even come back to school the next day. You have to wait one extra day for that kid to come back because they take it seriously, ma'am. I'm sorry that uh, you didn't know that. Maybe you, uh, I'm not even going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Why? 
He's not even sick. Um, some kid farted next to him and he said that it made his stomach feel bad. So I have to interrupt my day. Be- you see, she thinks she's funny. <laughs> she thinks this is hilarious. You're a mother. I know she's trying to be funny like some damn comedian, but it's a joke. Because be- some kids got a rank asshole? That's a new kind of block. What? That's some that's some bullshit. And I was like, does he have to pick her up? Like, can we can it be like an hour? <laughs> can we like work something do out? Do y'all notice something about that hand over there? Let's look at let's look at let's look at her hands again. Can like, First of all, the coloring of the nails, whatever. But uh I don't see a ring finger over here. We obviously know that she's getting down at eleven in the afternoon, but uh women like this? You think they're going to get married? Now, I say some women, they always have a chance because of their looks. But this one right here, this this girl right here, we ain't finding enough for no money. You get second shift at the plant. No. This, this one's going to have to... <laughs> men, men, don't, <laughs> men don't date a woman like this. Please. Ma'am, I, I wish the best for you. I hope you get it together, but let's keep it moving. <laughs> Can we, like, work something out? And he was like, mm, he needs to be picked up immediately because he threw up. He threw up because he has a weak stomach. What about the kid who busted ass so fucking bad that he cleared out an entire goddamn library? That seems like a problem. He seems like he should get some medical attention. Not my kid. Hilarious. Not my kid who's just got a weak stomach. Damn. It's not. Uh, I. I I get the gestures and everything. I get it. I like to do gestures myself, um, but I don't understand. You know what? I'm gonna let her finish. I'm gonna Kool Aid man through. I'm gonna Kool Aid man through the side of a wall today. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep, I'm gonna do because I'm pent up and I got a lot of aggression. Uh, so, uh, ma'am, you're on TikTok, a place where children tend to go. And I want to say this. Do you feel like you're talking to... Who... Let me ask y'all this. When y'all watch that video, who do you think that the main audience is? You think this is other women like, oh my God, yeah, my son is cock blocking. Like, when you're seeing this kind of behavior... Three times in the library, like actresses style. Does that sound like something adults watch or children watch? Who do you think she's trying to look good for? Who do you think she's making a joke to? Ma'am, it's over. It's a shame that some of you women walk around so much talking about, hey, I love being a single mom and I love this and I love that. Well, I'm assuming the father's not in the life. We don't know, but she's the one who came to pick him up. So I'm assuming the father may not be around. She may have drove him away or maybe he decided to leave. I don't know. What I do know is your 10 year old son now knows that every day at 11 a.m., that his mother, is wanting to clap cheeks. She said it as if it's a normal occurrence. Not like, ah, oh, this is the one time because she is so bothered because this is her time every day to get her clap cheek by maybe a boyfriend, maybe situationship. Maybe she is one of those. She could, from what people are saying, she's uh, she's one of those. I just made six figures on my OnlyFans. Ooh. So she, she's one of those loud and proud individuals. You know, being a mother back in the day, sure, there are some women who are a disgrace. But it seems like today, I can't even tell the difference between somebody who's a mother and somebody who's on the streets, right? I can't tell the difference between a mother in a girl who's for the streets. I can't tell the difference between a mother and one of these I just made six stars. On my only fans. I don't know anything different. It's so hard. Now it's to the point where now when you talk to a woman and she might be a single mother, you might you might not even know up until she tells you something because she acts like all she need is a little bit of wood. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Everybody has their urges. However, the way these women still dress and the women the way these women still flaunt themselves as if they don't have a kid. I've said this and I'll say it again. 
some of these effing women out here are as selfish as can be. It's like their kid is a toy to them. It's like their kid is just a small part of their life that they wish wasn't there. But yet, y'all want to live y'all's lives, spread an eagle every chance you get. And then knowing a kid could possibly be the uh, results of that. But yet y'all bust it wide open all the time. And I get it. Oh, there's pills. Oh, there's contraceptives. Oh, there's condoms. Oh, there's this. Oh, there's that. Or let's keep your legs closed. Because as much as I hear about all these contraceptives that are supposed to work, I still see more single mothers than ever. Because it's it's just a matter of time before these women say, F the pill. I, I'm just going to let him burst inside. I don't care. I'm going to let him do everything he wants to because he's so hot. I'm just going to let him burst inside. And then when he does and the baby comes along and he's like, OK, I'll try to take care of it. But sometimes these women, they get vindictive. They're like, oh, no, I don't really like him like that. I think I can do better now that I'm a single mother. <laughs> oh, gosh, too many times I hear this. Now that I'm a single mother, I deserve better. Since when does being a single mother get you better stuff? Since when does having a kid outside of wedlock now make your value go up? No, baby, that's that's not how it works. See, when the car gets used, when it leaves the lot, okay, it already starts going down. And then once you drive it around and it starts to break down, it's even worse. And then when more and more people get in it and get out of it, and then you get somebody who gets inside that car and burst inside of it, flood everything. And now that has to be cleaned up. Baby, there's not a whole lot you can do, okay, with that car. You got to bring it back to the lot and just get what you can get. The value on a car never goes up, baby. Okay, you can put all the fancy stuff you want on there. You can soup it up. You can do everything. But guess what? Every second that car is out there, it's still going down in value. Now. Is there some cases where it's different? Of course. If you were overweight at 20 years old as a young lady, let's say you're 206 six pounds. Okay. At 25, yeah, you can bring that car value up now, right? If you drop some weight. However, the car is still losing value. And yeah, you cleaned it up. Yeah, you made it put a lift on the truck. It's still losing value. See, here's the problem. When you drive it into the lake, <laughs> when you ladies drive your car into the lake and then pull it out and it's all messed up and what do I mean by lake I mean these women who get with guys keep jumping into the waters and then just flooding everything they're emotionally damaged they're, um, they're mentally damaged they have put themselves through the ringer and they think when they finally they think some man is supposed to come pull their ass out of the lake that they didn't put themselves in and drove off a damn cliff to fall into this lake some man is supposed to come get them wet, moldy, and everything and just take care of them, right? They want that to happen and they should be happy that any man would even come over there and pull your ass out of that life, out of that street life, out of that everyday getting left. All those times you get ghosted. Every time somebody bursts inside and leaves you alone. And not only that, you have kids. You're expecting some man to come and pull you out of that life. And some of you women want a man to not only pull you out of that life, but to clean you up. And not only to clean you up, to put you in a nice-ass garage. And not just any damn garage, a garage that will every single day clean you, okay? A self-sustaining garage somehow will clean you, vacuum you out, okay? Every day putting wax on you, every day making you look good. But you rarely ever let the man take a drive. What the fuck? Some of you, you know what I'm talking about. Some of you women are that damn car in the garage and you don't even let a man get sex from you. Come on, baby. <laughs> Y'all use that as a damn uh, tool. Y'all use that as a weapon. It's like I pulled your ass out of the lake. I'm taking care of your tires which we'll call the kids. I'm taking care of these damn tires. I'm feeding these damn tires. And I don't even get to drive. I don't even get to get in the car. I got, why do you keep the car locked so damn often? I need to be in the car at least five days a week. Oh no, I'm too good for that. He's lucky if he gets the cookie. And women think they cookies so special. They can't even pick their kid up 
from school because they're about to get busted down. I'm just sick of hearing it. I'm sick of these women. I'm sick of this. I'm tired of watching y'all having to buy dogs and die alone, man. Y'all thought I was going to play the sound. Nope. Because, I, you know, sometimes I'm just lost for words. I don't even know what else to say sometimes. Like, when I hear this kind of shit, like, sometimes it just makes me, like, roll over and discuss. And you know what's crazy? J. Cole said it, man. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. And so I am at the point where it's trying to save these kind of women. Useless. But what we are trying to do, men, is save the ones before they get here, before they drive their asses into the lake. Okay? We're trying to say, hey, 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 whoa. Okay? I know you want to live life fast, but over there, ma'am, that's a cliff, okay? That cliff only leads to your car falling into a lake and being engulfed, okay? And once you fall in that lake, ma'am, it's going to take a miracle to get your ass back out. Somebody might come along, ma'am, and be able to get you out of there. But there's a lot of cars that have fallen in that lake. They will never be recovered. So I'm just telling you, before you go over that cliff, just take a second. Now, if they drive off the cliff, hey, <laughs> you did all you could. But that's all we're trying to do. But the women who have already gone off the cliff, fuck them. <laughs> I hate, and I want to say this. I know that this doesn't get talked about enough, but I have to say it. For the women who will go to God and say that God will still get me a man, even though I've screwed up my life. I want to say this. First of all, every everybody gets consequences. And sometimes you might not get another man. Sometimes your your chances run out. You can't just live your life like crap and then expect to get everything. Now, can you be redeemed? Can you be forgiven? Of course. But the, there are opportunities that the doors do get closed forever. Okay? It'd be foolish of me to say somebody who's 55 years old, a woman who's 55, who decided she wanted to be a star all the way up until that. I'm talking about a corn star all the way up until she was 55 and now decides she wants a man who makes $10 million a year. I mean, am I to say that God is going to still provide that for her even though she goes to church every week now? No, that's gone. Some things you just don't get. The, the, that door is closed, closed. Okay. So sometimes you just might not be able to get a man. You may have ran out of chances. What you can do now is to live life to the fullest, the best you can. Or go see if there's a man still out there. But if you still have these high expectations, and you think God's going to drop a man out of the sky that looks like Shamar Moore, ma'am, be realistic. Stop using God as a one-stop shop that you can get anything from if you just say, Lord, forgive me, please. You're forgiven, but the consequences are still there. Anyway, I'm gone. Peace.